Hello fellow astronomers, Jonathan here. Last week I saw this really cool video about the largest star in the universe, Stephenson 218. Now I thought this video was really cool and I think it did a great job of showing just how much larger this new hypergiant star is than our own sun. However, I thought that I could add some extra context to this video by using my planetarium to highlight just how insanely big this star is within the perspective of our own planet and our solar system. So, up on the dome right now, I want to show you our first four planets in our solar system. That is Mars, Earth, Venus, and Mercury, the smallest planets in our solar system. Although Earth is the biggest, it doesn't really compare when we start bringing up the outer planets, such as Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And yes, we even have the dwarf planet Pluto over here, decidedly not a planet at this time. If you still think that Pluto is a planet, or you just want to know more of the reasoning behind that, feel free to check out the Pluto video on my channel where I explain the reasons why Pluto got demoted. Now, out of these outer planets, the largest is going to be Jupiter, which measures in at about 10 times the diameter of Earth, which means that from end to end, you could fit 10 Earths inside this planet. However, when compared to our Sun, these planets might as well not exist at all. Now this is our sun in comparison. This giant ball of gas and plasma is the single biggest and most massive object in our solar system. It is a shocking 109 times bigger than Earth. And in terms of mass, that is the weight of our sun, everything else in our solar system might as well not exist, as the sun makes up over 99.8% of all of the mass and matter in our entire solar system. To use a bit of a weird metaphor, imagine our solar system is a box of cereal. And you look on the side of this box to see what the list of active ingredients are. Essentially, the only ingredient would just be our sun. Now, with all this in mind, let's take a look at just how big Stephenson 218 is in comparison to the behemoth that is our sun. Now this is where the fun begins, as we will now get to see how our sun, the giant of our own solar system, compares to the newly ordained universe's largest star. To do this, we will simply pull back from the sun until we are far enough away to see Stephenson 218 in its entirety. On that note, let's begin our movement. As we start our grand tack to the outer solar system, we'll quickly pass by the orbit of Mercury, followed by the other three inner planets. And it's only once we surpass the entire orbit of Saturn does the entirety of Stephenson 218 come into view. And we can see this hypergiant star to scale within our own solar system. At this point, the Sun is pretty much nothing but a small little bright marble at the very center of Stephenson 218. You can kind of see it over here. As for Stephenson, well, it easily surpassed the first five planets of our solar system and nearly consumes the entirety of Saturn's orbit. Only the most distant parts of that orbital ring are outside the surface of Stephenson itself. The other two planets, Uranus and Neptune, a little bit off to the right over here, well, their orbits are pretty much too far away for any star to reach, as Stephenson 218 is already pushing the boundaries of what scientists expect to be the maximum size a star can reach. Alright, fellow astronomers, this is going to be our video for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, I simply ask that you subscribe to the channel, that way you can see more stuff like this in the future. Until next time though, keep your eyes on the stars.